All right, so I was watching the news this morning, and uh, <laughs> who who here has ever heard of George Carlin or heard any of his stand-ups? Right. So hopefully we know where this is going to go because if you have, if you haven't, go and look up George Carlin on feminists. Just go look him up. Look up George Carlin on feminists and listen to it. Listen to it. Because this guy, George Carlin, happens to be one of my favorite comedians, by the way. You know, yes, he's vulgar, whatever, but he got a lot right. He, he seriously got a lot right. Especially with this. So Berkeley... In California, the city of Berkeley has passed a resolution to call manhole covers person hole covers. Person hole covers. My God, it, an inanimate object that has man in front of it is now person. I mean, not woman hole cover, not woman hole cover, because then you know that's disgusting. And 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 and, and misogynist. But it's a person hole cover. What are we gonna? As as he said, what are we gonna do? Watch uh, late night with David Letter person? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to be person-scaping? You know. Is it going to be person slaughter now? Like, words, guys. Seriously. <laughs> words. Words, guys. Words. Right? Ugh. A person hole cover? I mean, are you serious? Do you not have anything better to do, Berkeley? Nothing. R to call a... I really don't think the feminists are upset that a manhole is called a manhole. A person hole? I, I just, I'm sorry, I can't get over it. Just everybody, go and listen to Jar George Carlin rant on feminists. Go do that right now and listen. Because, and if you've never heard of him before, and you hear him now, you're going to love it. You're going to love this guy because he is not politically correct at all about anything and I, my god he got it right he got it right so Berkeley you suck flat out <laughs> a person whole cover come on Really? This is what we're going to do our time with? We're going to start changing... We're going to start changing words? <sighs> I guess I'm just a person. I'm not a man. I, I guess I'm just a person. I, I, I guess, you know, I'm not a guy anymore. Th those words don't matter. Anyways, and also, you know, Elhan Omar, you know, compared uh, the Jewish state of Israel to uh, Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union, and it's like, huh, wrong? <laughs> wrong? 
wrong. Absolutely wrong. There is no genocide of anybody happening inside of Israel. The genocide is happening around. And they're trying to kill everyone in Israel. Screw you, Ilhan Omar. <laughs> I'm not going to say for you to go back to your country like, <laughs> like Trump did. <laughs> uh, but if you think Israel is like Nazi Germany, I... Your Somalia must be hell on earth. Because none of that's happening. You got to be able to be honest and truthful. Plain and simple. If you are not truthful and honest... Things don't mean anything anymore. That has a lot to do with my video about accountability. You need to be held accountable for your actions, woman. You don't get to do that. You don't get to compare the state of Israel to Nazi Germany and Stalin and Lenin Soviet Union. Do you have any idea what happened there? Do you have even the foggiest idea on what those people did to their citizens? Read this. It may be backwards, but it's the Gulag Archipelago. Read it. Tell me if it's the same thing. Oh, what? You don't read books? You're in Congress. Read a book about history. You have no idea the words you use. Actually, you know what? I think you do. You're exactly... You are exactly like these governments. You control the definitions. You control the narrative. You make it obvious that what you're trying to do is propagate your own ideology. You want this country to turn into a country in which nobody's free. I really hope you don't get reelected because those words are disgusting. You do not get to call a peaceful country who's only trying to defend itself that is literally this size compared to this being the rest of the Arabic nations. They have the smallest state to survive. And you want to say they don't have a right to survive? Screw you, you're just like the Nazis. Just like them. You called the Jews the Nazis when they were slaughtered by them. That is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You should seriously be ashamed of, what, of yourself. I can't even take that lightly. That just... That's... That just that stuff just makes me angry. You wouldn't say those things unless you read a book on history.
I'm done ranting. If you have any questions, comments, you want to tell me I'm a racist, which I'm sure, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of flack for what I last just said. But I don't care. I don't care. Words are disgusting. And I said nothing about your race. Only your ideology. If you have any questions, comments, you want to cuss me out, do whatever, the Michael Shorn Show at gmail.com. That's the Michael Shorn Show at gmail.com. Uh, email your questions. Comments, whatever. Um, yeah, this video is real short. I'm glad I could keep it that way, but I just the the video was supposed to be first part. You know what? Uh, it was supposed to be about that, but then I remembered that what Ilhan Omar said, and just email me your questions. You know, hopefully, eventually, I'll get a one. <laughs> so, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.